Howdy folks, Chris here from CC Detecting and Scrapping here with a scrap tips video. Um, this one is more around what to do with only a small workspace. Uh, I know a lot of guys who are able to, to scrap out of their garages or shops and they have a lot more room than I do. I basically just have a tiny room in my basement. So um, I'll, I'll show you what I do that helps helps me out and maybe it'll help you out as well if you're struggling with space and uh, we'll go from there. So one thing that I do to make my scrapping easier is I scrap in bins that will uh, will have lids that I can stack. Um, I also, what I do, like some of these, like this cable here, it doesn't fit well in these bins obviously, but what I do is I just have a tiny container in this room and then I transfer it to a bigger bin in, in that other room where I can store stuff in cardboard boxes and stuff like that. So that, that works well for me. Um, these ones here, um, I have lids for all these. So when they're full, I can just put the lid on, mark them down as copper, and uh, just stack them in a pile and take them into the air that way. My workspace is also not very big. Um, I, I have this little desk here that I can do a lot of stuff on, as well as this, oops, kind of too fast it says, as well as this little movable table that I work on. So what I do to uh, save space is I make sure that my, my desk area is, is very clean. Um, I, I try to only keep the tools that I use the most. Um, for example, I got my screwdriver sitting there on top of uh, uh, a screwdriver bit set. Um, ones that I use quite a bit, but uh, not very often. I have a magnetic bar here that I put on the wall, and uh, I just stick my tools to that, which works pretty good. Um, little screw hook in the wall for. Uh, I have a magnet here, um, some hacksaw blades, grinding wheels. You know, I got uh, another hook for my hacksaw as well as dustpan and uh, pry bar there. Uh, my grinder, I, I keep on my desk. I keep my drill charged all the time. Uh, that's very handy. Uh, I got the vise also on the desk, so it's always there, very stable. Um, I don't keep a big container for screws in that. I, uh, I just use my, you know, I'm not an advertisement for <laughs> cream of corn or anything, but uh, tin cans. I, I use those. I put all my screws in from stuff I take apart and when the tin can gets full then I just throw it over here in a, in a container. Uh, one of the little green bins there or the big blue bin. Um, and my screws aren't all over the place. Uh, it keeps things nice and compact as well. For my wire stripper, um, I got this one from uh, a uh, contest I won from Moose Scrapper uh, a year and a half ago or whatever it was. But uh, it comes with a little Allen key to adjust the set screws for the blades. What I do so I know which Allen key it is and I don't lose it is I just put a neodymium magnet on the post and keep my uh, my Allen key there. That way it never gets lost and it's always there when I need it. One thing I forgot to mention about my work desk. Um, basically this drawer here has decided that it no longer wants to close properly. Uh, it came off its tracks and they're broken and all that. But instead of uh, getting rid of the desk, I, I use that to my advantage by giving me some place to actually hang all the pliers and that I use when I'm working. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, also, when I'm working here, I have another drawer here of other stuff that you know I don't use frequently enough to have out all the time, but it's close at hand when I do need it. Uh, to keep the pliers in place, I have um, you know the little file bars on the file rods. I just tuck them in behind that, and you can see there, and then uh, they don't fall out anywhere, and it works out pretty good, and they're close at hand when I'm working. Another thing I have is I have a, a set of drawers here that I use, uh, but I use these to to hold things that I for that I scrap. Um, not, not frequently, but uh, you know, like for example, here's a, a container for CPU chips, uh, RAM, RAM chips, um, things off circuit boards, lead tire waste, you know, things that I get, but not very often. So I just put those in drawers and uh, go from there. Uh, this is another one. These are more circuit board parts for when I take apart circuit boards, uh, silver contacts. You know, this is one for gold pins, things like that. So, but I keep those out of the way. So I don't have, they're not in my way all the time. They're not something that I work with lots. And uh, when I do need them, I just bring them out and put them on my desk. Another thing I do is, uh, is I, I keep things for a later date. Um, Moose Cropper does this as well. He, uh, 
I can't remember what he calls it. He, he but he, what he does is he puts things in a bin, uh, same as I do, that can be scrapped while you're doing other things. Like here's a whole bunch of um, little copper, uh, copper bearing devices off circuit boards or things like that that I can just unwind when I'm watching TV. And all things like that. Um, another thing I do is is I keep a whole bunch of like items. These are all off. Uh, stoves and dryers and that switches that you know instead of breaking them apart one or two at a time when I get them you know this way I can spend an hour smash a whole bunch of them at once and uh, get the silver contacts and the brass out I had mentioned in the video when I took this guy apart that I, I love microwaves for storage and uh, I'll show you why like they have a very big compartment in here which is basically dead space in a small shop like mine so what I do is I fill that full of all the tin and screw bits and all that close the door seal it up and then I have a, a more compact unit as well as I clean up a bunch of space so let me let me do that right now and I'll just show you what I mean there we go so now I have this thing you know not completely full but it's full enough here for uh, for what I do and I just close the lid up and then what I'll do is I'll wrap some tape around that as well just to make sure it doesn't come flying open at all but I've you know I had an overflowing bin there before as well as that green bin was full of stuff and now it's all in there and I have more room again so I, that works out pretty good for me uh, for washers and dryers, stoves, fridges depending on how much I take them apart I do the same thing but I will load those up with those bigger items when I put them in my truck so a fridge obviously has a lot of dead space in the middle of it I could put in quite a bit of this stuff here tape the door closed, it adds weight to it I save space as well so it works out good for uh, for guys like me who have just a small space. So what I like to do when I get stuff is I, I kind of sort it out by type and, and like type things. So I got, uh, for example, um, just in this pile here, I have, I um, don't you know, what was that, five, five items there that are all basically flat electronics. Uh, I got a bunch of UPSs, some stereo stuff, things like that. But what I try to do when I get stuff is I organize it to the point where the more compact stuff I do last, and I try to get rid of the big bulky items first. So if I'm getting any TVs or big printers or anything that's got like a lot of dead space, like that microwave, time to scrap, but it really does have a lot of dead space that you can use for other stuff. So I scrap those out first, and then that gives me more time to do these other things. If you're scrapping a whole bunch of one item, um, for example here I have a bunch of yokes off TVs, uh, scrapping the yokes after every TV is kind of it's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, what I do then is, if I'm doing a bunch of them, is I'll keep the yolks in, in a container to do just a yolk day, right? Uh, right here is probably an hour or so of work. Uh, same with the uh, degaussing cables. So here's a bunch of degaussing cables I have from TVs that I still got to go through. Um, I keep everything that I'm going to do um, in, in a batch group in one location. Um, it doesn't pay to have you know these degaussing cables, for example, in 14 different locations. It's best to have them all in a nice bundle, someplace away from the rest of your stuff. That when it's time to do them, then you can just go and do them. So a couple more tips um, that I'd recommend is never have more than a, the size of your vehicle for a load. If you have a pickup truck, then once you get a pickup truckload worth of um, say white goods or steel or however it's taken at your yard, then get rid of it. Um, for me in my basement, I don't have much room and my neighbors don't enjoy it when I stockpile lots of stuff in my yard, so I don't keep much around. Um, once I get a truckload of stuff, it's gone. When I had my cube van, it was a lot easier. I could keep five tons of steel in, uh, in just in it and no one knew the difference. So when it, my cube van got full, then I would just start the van up and go. Uh, another tip that I find, uh, for me anyway, is make sure the shop is clean at all times. I I really don't like working in a dirty shop. I, I feel I feel like everything's closing in on me when it's dirty. I my chair doesn't roll right, you know, things are missing and there's just dirt everywhere. So I, I actually probably clean more in my shop than I do anywhere else in my house. Um, but I, I clean, keep my work area really clean. I keep things organized. If I'm working on stuff, um, and I start generating little piles on my desk, I'll stop what I'm doing, clean up all those little piles, and then start over again. For me, it just feels better when I'm working in a clean, clean environment. Uh, I'd always scrap with a friend. Here's my little blue cat. We call him Blue. He's been with us for quite a while. 
So he always comes down to the shop and keeps me company. Um, we got another one named Sky who also does. This little fella here though unfortunately has been diagnosed with some uh, bone cancer, bone tumor in his jaw. So we uh, we don't have much time left with this little guy. But you know what? He's always been down in the shop. He's always with me, helping me out. It's always good to scrap with somebody. So I scrap with him. He uh, keeps me company. So another person who helps me out quite a bit is my son, who uh, you know he'll help me do the big pickups and he doesn't help me scrap so much. Um, he does help me do a lot of the heavy lifting though when I have big items. And then every now and again he gets into a destructive mood and he wants to rip something apart as well. Uh, those are good days. I, I enjoy scrapping with my son. It's nice that we can do stuff together. Um, you know we don't uh, we don't share a lot of the common interests and that kind of stuff, but uh, you know. Whenever you get time, whenever you can spend time with your kids, it's a it's a great day. So uh, other than scrapping with my cat down here, I, I also do a lot of scrapping uh, on calls with my fiance who currently lives in the Philippines. So it, uh, I don't know, it's, I just find it enjoyable working while I talk with her. So it's it's pretty good, and you know it allows us to spend time together doing stuff that I like as well as we can catch up on everything that's been going on with her for the day. Um, that's that's about it for my video here for the uh, for working in a small space. Hopefully, something some of the things that I do will help you out in your space if you're having problems organizing or whatever. Um, I like I said, sorting things out into bins that are manageable for your area and then moving it to if you have a storage location is a lot better than just trying to have all your big bins where you're trying to work. Um, give yourself lots of room. You never know what's going to come in, and if you get big items that are big and bulky, TVs, that kind of stuff, then get rid of those as quick as you can. Um, for me, appliances, I, I do all my appliances outside, and I bring in the parts, the wiring harnesses, and stuff like that inside the house when, when I'm done. So that stuff never gets in here. But yeah, so that's, that's about it. So we'll have to say goodbye, Blue. We'll say goodbye. Hope you guys have a great day doing whatever it is you're doing. And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And leave some comments if you found anything here that uh, they found valuable to you, or if you have any tips for me on how to work in a small space. So again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.